Hi guys and welcome back and if you're new here thanks for joining us. Today they've sent out uh, the upper right and upper left engine mount bushes and I've got them in the black series so they're going to be the firmest you can get. So you may find this a little bit easier if you're doing it in the yellow or the purple because these ones are extremely stiff for track. So if you want to see how easy it is to fit these ones they're a lot easier than the wishbone bushes. You should be able to do this at home quite easily so if you want to see how easy it is stay tuned and I'll see you very shortly. Okay, so as you look at the engine bay, you've got the upper right engine mount, which goes on just here. The bush goes underneath that nut under there. So that is a 17 mil. So we're gonna take that off and then the bush just slides over that um, bolt that's sticking out there. We're just gonna to undo to this front bolt here that holds in the expansion tank, just so we can lift it up a little bit and it's easier to get the bush in. So we're just removing the 10 mil bolt that holds in the expansion tank at the bottom. And now we're just taking this bolt that holds the engine mount. It's just that nut that holds it on and because the engine mount is sat on where it sits on the chassis it's not going to fall like you're going to put a jack underneath the side. So the bush is already greased up, we just greased around the bottom of it here on the inside because this is a little metal sleeve that sits inside the bush. So you can see the metal sleeve is in here. I did test fit this side just to see how easy it was and it was a lot easier than I thought. So it basically just sits on like that so you want the flat surface sitting up you can see the semicircle is the same shape so it literally fits in that little well there and we undid the expansion tank so you can see you can get a little bit more leverage in there now so that literally just slots on like that and then all we're going to do is just get a little pry bar you may find this easier with the yellow or the purple because it won't be as restrictive and stiff on the bush and we're just going to lever the engine like that just so that we can slot the bush down and you can see the expansion tanks moving so you may be able to do it without moving the expansion tank but I just found it a lot easier and then the bush just sits down in that little slot like that so then all we need to do is put the nut back on lever it a little bit so that it sits straight like that, give it a little jimmy and the nut can go back up. Make sure it's nice and tight. back on the bottom of the expansion tank. And it's literally as simple as that. So when I went to edit this video, the camera didn't uh, record the outro, which is annoying, so I'm doing it again now. The upper right engine mount is really easy to fit as you can see from the video and it makes a great deal of difference. It will be paired perfectly with the rear lower engine mount which is also really easy to do. That's also another video on our channel so have a look at that if you haven't watched it already. We'll be doing the gearbox side in the next few days and hopefully get it up in the next week or two so keep an eye out for that. And we've also got some other videos coming up with Powerflex with the other bits and pieces that we've got 
and something else is in the pipeline, but I'm not going to say anything about that at the moment. Um, we will be testing it out at Bedford this weekend. Uh, we will be, hopefully this video will go up on Friday, possibly Thursday, but probably Friday. And we're doing Bedford on the Monday, so we'll be able to test out these next few bits that we're doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.